Oh, the skin, the hair. Oh, always looking so damn amazing when I'm in front of the fucking camera. The light, it's always shining bright when it comes to greatness and when it comes to the FC Sneaker Factory and Mr. Wonderful. But I got you beautiful people out there, the fellas and those beautiful ladies. Oh, that I call my cheerleaders. You know that I love you. And oh, I'm about to see a few of you in a little bit. But you know what? I, you know what? Let me open those doors for you, beautiful people, to come on in. Let me unlock those doors and open them wide open for you. Go ahead and come to the FC Sneaker Factory because we are talking about some amazing shoes when it comes to the FC Sneaker Factory and when it comes to my beautiful channel. We're talking about the Pink Box era because you know what? We're inching closer and closer to that Covenant 200 when it comes to the profiles. Oh, you know, Mr. Wonderful had to definitely deliver in front of you some beautiful shoes when we hit that 200, right? That 200 is just around the corner in probably like four or six days from now. But you will be seeing that. You'll be tapping into that number 200 and it's gonna be fucking amazing just like this shoe right here to my right. But in case you're wondering, well, I'm just new to this channel. I'm just coming on in and I have no idea what's going on. Well, first of all, welcome to the fucking club and where the fuck have you been at after all this time, right? This channel has been going on for over a year now, going on two years actually, and yet we still have not seen the, the amount of subscribers and the amount of views that this channel so gratefully deserves. But Mr. Wonderful still delivers you amazing content, right? I drop you profiles, drop you knowledge on shoes that probably you have not ever seen or haven't seen in quite some time and that are still in immaculate condition. And or I've dropped you Floyd's pickups on, on items that are coming into the factory on a frequent basis. And I drop you those amazing shorts with those beautiful songs playing in the background. And of course, Mr. Wonderful is always delivering in front of you by the way I look <laughs> and the way I style and how I dress myself. But you know, speaking of that, you're probably wondering, Mr. Wonderful, where are you going? Especially if you haven't been tuning in to the past two episodes, where are you going looking so damn amazing and what the hell are you wearing? Well, I am rocking this beautiful lavender soft purple colored long sleeve Lulu pink, or I'm sorry, Lulu lavender shirt but look at that this beautiful tag aqua racer i love this watch you know how i feel about this watch especially if you've been tuning in for over a year now i appreciate that but let me stand up for you so you guys can see that the fellas and those beautiful ladies that i call my cheerleaders you can see how mr wonderful looks in all right that beautiful body great tee nice page denim and of course, always looking amazing for you, but most importantly, looking amazing for those beautiful ladies, right? I'm about actually, actually about to be, after once I'm done with these, right? I'm still waiting for the ladies, but after these, after I'm done making this content, basically, I'll be leaving. I decided, you know what, since I'm hitting the 200 mark, right? 200 profiles when it comes to my channel, which is amazing. Not too many people can say that, especially delivering you amazing shoes like I always deliver you. But I decided to treat myself, award myself to a nice little vacation, right? A little weekend getaway. I'm actually, I didn't feel like flying anywhere. You know how Mr. Wonderful always does it, right? He's always traveling. But I wanted to just stay and relax in California, take a nice little drive, spend a couple of days in this beautiful town, La Jolla, right? In San Diego. Amazing amazing place and also stay at one of my favorite hotels when i do visit that that specific area la valencia and get me the beautiful villas that i'm so accustomed to staying in and i i absolutely love i love the villas i mean amazing right little separated from the hotel and they have the most amazing showers and if you ever visited there you know what i'm talking about so just, I mean, I'm, I'm going with some beautiful ladies as always. Mr. Wonderful tries to surround himself with beautiful ladies when, when I'm ever going out. Sometimes I do like to be alone because I do like my own 
private company of myself, but I do love the ladies accommodate me most of the time. But enough about that. <laughs> I've been going on too much about that. Let's go ahead and talk about this beautiful shoe. Sneaker Profiles 198 right here. Amazing shoe, right? Like I said, we are visiting that pink box era, the early 2000s. Not that flat matted pink box era, the glossy pink box era. And you'll see it when I actually show you the box, which is in a little bit. But you know what? Let me go ahead and open up the books on this one. Let's go ahead. Yep, I am right. Let's go ahead and open it up. And let's talk about this amazing shoe that I have in front of me. So look it. Beautiful, right? The glossy pink box air. I love it. You see that glossy finish to this box. Gorgeous box. The Nike hit on the top. But most importantly, this is what counts. The Nike Dunk SB Pro SB Black Royal Blue. Oh, that beautiful size 10 and a half, but look at that. The tag still on there. 65 freaking dollars right there. Now let's take a look at the inside of the box. Oh, look at that paper. Amazing paper in that black wood green finish, but also you do got that wood green pink on the inner part of the, this beautiful pink box. Amazing, right? Amazing box. And you're probably wondering, and I, and I was always curious about that. And I, hopefully someone will ever answer in the comments about that. But we've seen this in the black air in the black boxes, right? We've seen they had the black the black tags, the normal black labeling, but also the orange one when it came to the black box. You see that on this one. I just never understood why some when it came to some SBs they had the black the black label, just like the St. Patties, just like the the other shoe that the vapors that I just showed you. A couple days ago but this one right here the j-rod this one actually came in that orange so it was kind of weird i always wondered why they would switch for certain shoes would have the orange one and then other models would or other shoes would have the black one i just never understood that but here we go gorgeous shoe i haven't seen this shoe in quite some time but here we go sneaker profiles 198 we got the nike dunk sb J-Pack, but you know what? I, we would call it back in the day, this was called the Cookie Monster. Here we go right here. Beautiful shoe, right? This shoe was released back in 2005 of February. Gorgeous shoe. Love this shoe. Look at those beautiful materials on this one. So the J-Pack, right? When I first saw this, I didn't see the J-Pack. I didn't see the Jordan 1. I saw actually... I saw the Cookie Monster. I, I got that. You know, I saw that when I, I remember I seen this first. I first seen this shoe back in my local shop. It was a headstone, and I talked a little about a little bit about that shop in the the first one, right? The St. Patty's. But at that time, back in 05, there was actually a shop in my area that it was, and it was crazy because there was really. There's never every shops like that. Normally, I kind of have to travel outside my city to go to skate shops and stuff like that. But this wasn't a skate shop. It was actually like a a shop for like graffiti, like graffiti art. They sold they sold um, paint cans, tips, stuff like that. But they did have streetwear and they did have a Nike SB account. And this was the first time I ever laid my eyes on this, the Cookie Monster, the J Pack. And I remember seeing it, but they did not have my size, so I wasn't able to pick it up for $65 back then. So I had to go to the eBay market, but that was the first time that I saw that and I was like, you know what, I, I love the shoe. But at, when I first saw it, I didn't see like the Jordan one. I honestly, I wasn't even really a big fan of Jordan ones at that time. Even now I'm not like the biggest Jordan one fan, but back then that's not what I saw when I saw this shoe. I saw actually like, oh yeah, I could see the Cookie Monster when it, when it came to this uh, particular shoe. But let's go ahead and go into the, the quality of this shoe right here. So beautiful quality. You do got that nice black gray suede right here. And that goes through the lace the lace holes, but also right here into here. So you have that beautiful black suede. But then look at that close. You see that nice tumbled black leather when it came to the medial part of the shoe. And then this beautiful blue cookie monster blue swoosh 
gorgeous, right? You do have the, the strokes when it comes to this suede, but then right here, you do got that nice white midsole. And then of course you got that beautiful cookie monster blue outsole. Now let's take a look at the rear of the shoe. So right here, the rear, you do got that Nike sewn in in that cookie monster blue. This is actually black suede right here, gorgeous. And then right here, you got that black leather hit. But then also on the on the bottom, you do got that nice, beautiful black suede. And you can see the strokes on that. White midsole. And then, of course, you got that Cookie Monster blue outsole. So the medial side looks same exact as the lateral side. Nothing has changed when it came to, you know, the lateral or medial. You do got that nice, beautiful black suede. You do got some black leather that hits very at the very top that goes towards the the lateral part, the rear of the shoe. But then you got that nice, more of that beautiful suede when it comes to the lace loops. But right here, I love this. So you do got that Cookie Monster suede swoosh, but I love that, that beautiful tumble leather, black medial portion of the shoe right there. And then this beautiful black suede when it comes to going towards the toe box, all right? Let's take a look at that. Look at that gorgeous Cookie Monster Royal Blue outsole right here. And as you can see, you do got that some glue stains right there because this shoe is dead stock. I have never wore this. But let's take a look at the aerial view, right? The aerial view is where it's at. I love that. You do got that beautiful Cookie Monster Blue toe box, that beautiful Cookie Monster shoelaces. And then right here, you do got that nice black tongue, that fatty tongue. And of course, you got that Nike SB in white, but then you got that Royal Cookie Monster blue tag on the tongue. And then look at that inside the guts. You see that Cookie Monster blue everywhere on the ankle support, also on the insole. But you do got that Zoom Air in white. Look at that tongue. I love that. Look at that fat tongue. Miss those days, man. I miss those fucking days, ladies. Oh, my cheerleaders. I miss those days. Gorgeous shoe. Do you have this one? Or I'm, you know, I'm not going to ask that question because you don't. But do you remember this shoe when it first came out? Do you remember the pink box era? Who does? I would like to know. Of course, Mr. Wonderful does because he has this beautiful shoe in hand. Gorgeous shoe right here, right? Another sneaker profile 198 right another beauty to add to the to put back in the factory i haven't seen this shoe and i haven't seen any of these shoes in quite some time because i just never take them out just to look at them i just leave them in the box where they belong until i'm actually ready to wear it or until i'm gonna drop you a beautiful profile sneaker profiles 198 right there beautiful shoe gorgeous shoe the j pack the aka the cookie monster but the book is shut on that one. And guess what? In a couple days, we'll be doing an, we'll be doing it all over again. And the the next two. Oh, the countdown is on its way. The road to 200 is almost there, right? We're coming closer and closer to that Covenant 200. And I know you're just wondering, well, what's what's next for 1999? What's next for for 200, right? Well, you got to tune in. You got to tune in because you know what? When it comes to the sneaker game, I am the fucking lion. This is my jungle, and the sneakers are my prey. And when it comes to YouTube, oh yes, YouTube is my fucking platform, and the sneaker genre is my fucking playground. And I appreciate each and every single one of you tuning in, right? Because you know Mr. Wonderful is always delivering in front of you. In front of you, so far, 198 so far, profiles that are, are in my collection, you know what? I still got a ton more to go. That's what's crazy about it is that I still have a ton more to go. And as you can see by now, and I hope you can fucking see, there's no fucking facade here. These are all my shoes. And I'm not no so-called sneakerhead. I am a true fucking sneakerhead that brings you amazing content on an everyday basis. I appreciate you for tuning in, but you know what? Keep tuning in and you're only going to see greatness as we keep going. Hopefully the subscribers have gone up. Hopefully, I pray to the Lord above.
But you know what? I'm thankful for you, for you tuning in. That means a ton to me and those beautiful ladies. Oh, you know that you have my heart. And I know you're looking out. I know you're out there looking as beautiful as always. But you know what? I was actually getting a shirt done not too long ago. My tailor is always taking care of me. But she whispers in my ear. She says, you know what? Out of all my customers, Mr. Wonderful, you look too damn sweet. 